Okay, so question seven. The heat of vaporization of water is 2,260 joules per gram. How do you calculate the molar heat of vaporization of water? So this question looks like it would be hard, but it's actually not too difficult. Molar heat of vaporization of H2O. So they give us the heat of vaporization. So the difference between molar heat of vaporization and heat is that uh, the molar heat of vaporization depends on how many moles there are of the substance. So if there was only one mole of water, it would have the same value throughout. So the heat of vaporization, 2,260 joules per gram to calculate the molar heat of vaporization. So this is for one mole of water. We need to just multiply by the molar mass of water. And we do that to cancel out the grams and to get our answer in joules per mole. That's why molar heat of vaporization is interesting to use because this is dependent on how many moles of water there are in the system. So this value will be the same throughout like any of the tables that you might get in your test or in a textbook. And it is 40,680 joules per mole. And we can calculate this to kilojoules per mole. Just by dividing by a thousand, you get 40.68 uh, kilojoules per mole. Okay, so the junior tutor said, using dimensional analysis, calculate the heat of vaporization in joules per mole. Use 18 grams per mole as the molar mass of water. Multiply the given heat of vaporization by the molar mass of water to cancel out the gram unit, and they got 40,680. Okay, so this solution is correct.